My name is Keely. Welcome to the machine shop. Today we're going to be going over aligning, checking the alignment of a vise on the mill. This is important because it affects precision. It's critical for machining um, parts relative to the vise jaws. It's also very time consuming to align the vise and so um, often general shop practices is to walk into a machine shop and double check the alignment on the vise. Usually it's where you want it to be at, but it will mess up your part if it is not. So we just wanted to give a quick overview of how to um, check the alignment on the vise. So you're going to go grab a feeler gauge and you're going to put it in your stock somehow. There's different ways to hold on to it. This one uses a 3 8 inch collet, which I've already put into the machine. I have also put left my mill in low gear. This is so that I cannot turn the spindle and this reduces the amount that this will move so that we make sure we have a steady and firm setup. Um, basically to check where we're going with, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna use my feeler gauge along the back edge of my vise. And this is because this is the most um, perfect, least chewed up part of the vise that doesn't move unlike this one. And um, it's gonna give us the best results. So I'm gonna raise my Z just enough so that I am about halfway on that the part of the vise over here that lets me check this. I have that. I want to be over in one corner. You can pick this side or this side. I've picked this side. And then I'm going to bring this in. Once I've made contact, you can pick, really pick a number. You can do a full rotation and go to zero again. We're watching this gauge here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the X slowly and steadily across. We can see that the deflection and how much this is in this is aligned. As you can see with this vise that we are very fairly accurate. There's almost no deflection at all. This means that this vise is aligned properly and um, that we are good to go with, with machining. So we have come back to mill number four and we're gonna check the alignment on this one. So same process, we're gonna move it over in the X. So we've already hided our Z and then I'll bring this forward in the Y. Once I've made eye contact, I'm just gonna chain, move the face of the dial so that it is at zero. And I'm just gonna turn on my auto feed. And we'll watch the difference of the dial here. As you can see, we have about an 8 thou difference on the, the alignment of this vise for this machine. So this is probably um, needs to be realigned. You can always ask the TA, we're willing to help you. And um, we're glad we checked it so we didn't mess up our part. For this machine shop, we um, don't, this is the standard setup of a mill, and we don't recommend that people take off the vices. If, they, if you ever have a job that you need to take off the vise, and, readjust it, um, a TA will be happy to help you. We'll go over the steps of how to do that in person and just know that this is a time consuming process and that we expect you to put it back in proper setup when you're done um, using the machine it's for the convenience of the next person. And that proper setup will be you can have about 1,000 max travel difference. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, just come into the shop and ask them and have a good one.